Hey marketers, welcome back to our channel Martech Market. Today in our video, we are going to talk about the difference between CRM, CDP and DMP and its usages. So let's get started. So to talk about CRM or Customer Relationship Management Platform, it's basically a tool or a software where brands collects a particular customer's personal information like name, email address, contact number or the demographic information like location, age, income, date of birth, marital status and many more or the interaction and transactional information like last product bought by an end customer, customer status like is, it, is the customer a happy customer or not, number of purchases done by a customer or dates when I talk about dates, these dates are basically the date of registration, date of last transaction etc. To give you an example, if at all we take an insurance industry, a CRM platform of an insurance industry would obviously have all the PII information like name, email address, contact number. They'll try to have maximum demographic information like age, income, date of birth, marital status and many more. And when it comes to interaction and transactional information, they'll have obviously the policy that the user has opted for, the number of policy a particular user has opted for. And when it comes to dates, obviously it will have the dates of when did the user opt for a particular policy or the next renewal date, when would be the next renewal cycle, etc. Right. So basically a CRM tool would be majorly used by the customer care or the sales team of the brand. Customer care team would be using all of this data to give a good customer experience whenever an end customer calls their customer care. If at all the customer care team has all of this data in front of them, they would be ensuring that the customer need not repeat all of this data so that they would be able to save their time and registering their grievances or inquiring would be easy. And when it comes to sales team, if at all it's a new customer, they may not have all of this data, but with the minimal data, they'll try to personalize the conversation so that they'll be, they'll, they'll be able to make that sale. Even the marketing team would be using it to an extent, but they would not be using it with great intelligence. They would be using it with some raw data like name, email address, phone number, so that using the email address, they can send out email communication. Using the mobile number, they can send out SMS and WhatsApp communication, etc. And uh, they'll also try to personalize the communication to an extent basis, the age group or the location and much more. But there would not be much of intelligence. Uh, it will purely be basis the uh, first level of data that is available of a customer. That is where the CDP comes into picture. CDP or the customer data platform is basically an intelligent platform that combines a customer's CRM data along with the behavioral data to do customer profiling and data stitching. Now to talk about behavioral data, it's basically the customer's app or web behavior or the channel behavior or the buying pattern of an end customer. So now app or web behavior is basically what kind of product or what kind of category, which particular category does the user view upon, does the user click or add to cart or purchase from the website, app and offline. To talk about channel behavior, what kind of communication does the user respond to and what, what kind of communication does the user not respond to, which channel is the user more active upon, is it an email or a push notification or an SMS or WhatsApp or what time of the day does the user respond to most of this communication? It's more of trying to build intelligence upon various marketing communication sent out to a particular user. Then to talk about behavior pattern or buying pattern, it's basically what kind of product does the user uh, usually buy? Uh, what is the price range that the user usually buy upon? What kind of offer does the user respond to and end up buying? Or uh, which are the most preferred category of a particular customer? Basis that we try to create a customer profile and when it comes to customer profile, the outcome would usually be we'll come to know for every customers what is the product affinity, which kind of a product can be sold to which particular customer, which would be the next best product that can be sold to a particular customer or what is the price range of product that can be sold to a particular customer or what kind of offer would entice a customer to come and buy, which is the most preferred channel, is it email, SMS, push notification to send out this communication or which is the most preferred time or customer category, where does this customer currently fall, is it a dormant loyal or a star customer and over a period of time, where would this customer potentially fall? Would this customer have the, I mean, um, would the customer over a period of time become a loyal customer? Is there a possibility that a particular customer bases their current behavior? We predict whether this customer could be a loyal or a star customer, or we can also predict churn. 
based on certain behavioral pattern the system would be able to tell because it's going to map the behavior to certain other users who have done a transaction or who have done who have churned out of the system so using a cdp basis this behavior we would be able to understand which set of customer are going to churn over a period of time also create more of smart segment which product category is best sold to a particular set of customer which se- customer base would have the highest chances of uh, buying a particular product set what kind of communication would entice a particular uh, set of or segment of customers more of creating smart segments for uh, smarter communications and lastly to talk about data stitching the idea is to identify a particular user across various devices various platform and try to create a unified view for a particular customer now to give you an example if at all let's take uh, this particular user named virat when virat comes on to a particular website uh, and signs in using a mobile number for the first time and second time when virat comes on to the same website from the same device signs in using an email address we map this data because the device id and the name of a particular user is same we do a probabilistic matching and say hey this mobile number and this email id belongs to the same virat who has signed in using the same device right that is what is data stitching so cdp is predominantly used by a brand's marketing team majorly for two purposes one is to fine tune their communication so that they are able to retain a lot of existing customer two is to rework re-strategize on their acquisition strategy and get more quality customers into their system and ensure these new customers that they have got are retained for a longer time moving on to talk about dmp or data management platform it is also an intelligent software that tracks a user's behavior across various website on the internet and tries to create a customer profile when we talk about behavior it's basically the browsing pattern like the different kinds of website a user would be browsing over the internet or different kind of content a user would be consuming over the internet or a different kind of product a user would be buying across various website on the internet so the major objective of a dmp platform would be to understand this buying and browsing behavior of various users of internet and profile each of this user into a particular category or a bucket to give you a few examples with the help of understanding these behavioral patterns a dmp platform will try to gauge the age category of a particular user say a user logs into a social media platform it will first consider this user to be of the age bucket 15 to 45 or 50 now if the same user goes to an investment based site it will bucket the same user to be of the age category 25 or 40 right if this user usually buys tech related product it categorize the user to be a tech geek now if the user buys more of a premium product from premium website it categorize this user to be a high income group or if the user buys only using coupon code across various website from the internet it categorize the user to be an offer seeker so this way categorize users into uh, different buckets like what could be the probable age category of a user what is the interest of a user what could be the probable income category of a user basis the ip it tracks the users location as well and last but not the least it will also try to understand what type of uh, shopper is this user is so the major difference between a cdp and dmp is basically two aspects first being the behavioral tracking aspect and the second being identity tracking aspect so to talk about behavioral tracking aspect when it comes to cdp a brand tracks their own customer and visitors behavior on their own website and app and tries to build intelligence for better retention and rework on acquisition strategy whereas when it comes to dmp the brand depends on a third party software which uses third party cookie to track internet user behavior across various website on the internet since it is a third party tracking internet user behavior across sites comes the second difference all this behavior is tracked without the end users identity which means a dmp platform will not track the users email address phone number or the name it tracks all of this information just basis the cookie id as soon as a user visits a particular website it places a cookie so that just with the browser id or the cookie id the dmp player will start tracking a user behavior on a particular website now how would a brand use this is very simple the brand's acquisition or advertising team will share in their requirement like the age category 
that the DMP player will have to target the type of user, the income category or the kind of users of the internet they, they would want to try and target. Basis this information, a DMP player will run ads across various partner websites, which are those websites where they place in their cookies. Uh, and those websites that matches this requirement, a DMP player will run ads on those websites. In short, a brand's advertising or uh, acquisition team would be running ads using a DMP platform. So to summarize the difference between CRM, CDP and DMP, the major objective of CRM is to collect personal information of an end customer, demographic information and the interactional information of an end customer so that it is used effectively by the customers, customer care team and the sales team. Marketing team also would be using it to an extent, but basically with the raw data available, only without much of intelligence, they would be using this raw data to send out regular campaigns uh, through email, SMS and other channels. Whereas when it comes to CDP, the major objective is to create a unified view of a customer, understand the customer behavior across various platforms like the web, app, offline, stitch all of this data, build some intelligence upon this and then try to understand each and every customer's preference predominantly used by marketing team to better their retention strategy, also to help them with re-strategizing their acquisition strategy. When it comes to DMP, a brand would tie up with a third-party software provider who would run ads in uh, for the brand's basis, the requirement and need of the brand so that they'll place their ads on a particular website that caters to these requirements and need, predominantly used by the acquisition or the advertising team of the brand. Hope this uh, video was helpful. Please tune into our channel for more such video. Have a great day. Thank you.